Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Bangers. And um, if you've joined this show, you know we're going to be talking about RY4 recipes this week. Uh, just a couple of things before I started. So uh, a couple of mixed reviews on our intro, um, most of which is good. And then um, I think it was Raven who said she wanted to carve out her short-term memory. So yeah, first bump for that comment. Uh, I curled in bed as I was laughing for that. Uh, I just really enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much for putting it there. Um, but yeah, guys, welcome to the show. Welcome to everybody in chat. Uh, of course, you know, we're doing the show a little bit differently now. Um, everybody in the TV team are submitting uh, their recipes to me and I just, you know, cut a show together. And uh, so, you know, we record at different times and therefore, you know, you, you, you might see me in the day and you might see deeds at night. So please don't get confused about what's going on in South Africa. You know, it's just uh, we record at different times. That's just the, the, the matter of the fact. So let's jump right into it. I started off by um, asking some of the local mixers here in South Africa to just give me, you know, any RY4 recipes they've worked on. I chose two for the show. Um, the one I want to start off with is Donovan. His nick on uh, all the flavors is Ned113. Okay. And the recipe I want to be talking about now is blackberry tobacco i'll be sharing this link now in the chat so yeah this is this was interesting for me because it's just so different you know what i mean um but there's there's uh, much to be said about this recipe so let's let's run through uh, what it contains 0.75 percent fa seven leaves 0.35 percent uh Acetylparazine at 10%, uh, 1.25% TFA Blackberry, uh, 0.25 Cherry Blossom TFA, 3% DFS Holy Holy Grail RY4, and 1.5% Vanilla Tahiti, and 1% FA Virginia. Okay, so uh, this is a RY4, so I just want to kick off by, you know, talking about the, uh, you know, the caramelly tobacco layer in this recipe, which of course is uh, seven leaves FA plus uh, FA Virginia. Beautiful, beautiful combination. I agree with Donovan. Um, that is definitely a go-to pairing right there. Um, not one that I'm super familiar with. I I know the FLV tobaccos pretty well, but you know I'm I'm sort of veering into this weird and wonderful land of tobaccos, and you know those are are, are two that I that I have now and that I've tried, and I'm and I like the taste of them and the combination. I used to smoke uh, Peter Stuyvesant and uh, Winston, which is Virginia tobacco, right? And I can see the similarities between that flavor that uh, FA created there for it, um, you know, with Virginia tobacco. It's just like a mild, um, a milder sort of uh, not so in your face tobacco. Now, the description for this recipe reads okay, it is. Um, the idea behind this recipe was quite simple. I felt I had worked out a half decent soft smooth tobacco base, but I felt it lacked something different. Okay. And uh, what, what of course he's talking about here is, you know, he's, he's talking about uh, Virginia tobacco and seven leaves plus the, you know, those uh, creamy vanillas which is FA Vanilla Tahiti and uh, DFS Holy Holy Grail RY4. So I think that's his base that he works with and he of course wanted to put a different spin on that base. So he'd been introduced to florals, quite heavy ones, and he was intrigued. Um, this really is not a mix a many like due to the floral. In essence, I do not think that floral and a creamy tobacco would make so much sense, but it works for me wonderfully. Okay, so FA Blackberry gave me just what I needed. Um, it had a wonderful floral that just works extremely well here. It's strong but not overpowering for me. The cherry blossom just adds a little bump here, which I did not find. Um, that, well, he borrowed that from another recipe. Okay, and then if, uh, DIY Flavor Shack Holy uh, RY4 was the go to here as it has a slight sweetener, no, sweeter and aftertaste than TFA RY4 Double. Um, 
he felt that uh, Awa 4 double in this application didn't work super well. Uh, the Tahiti gave him a darker vanilla and the combination, we spoke about the combination of Seven Leaves and Virginia already. Okay, so my thoughts on this recipe here is, uh, you know, it's different. It's, and that's what I was looking for for this RY4 show. It's different. Um, I like somebody that, you know, takes a, a swing, um, you know, at something and, you know, ultimately achieves it. When we spoke, I said which, because he's got about three or four uh, tobacco recipes, you know, with RY4 in it. And I asked him which one he was the most proudest of. And this is the one, you know, it's delicious. It's exactly what it says. It's a creamy um, tobacco. It's a creamy tobacco base. And he's got, um, you know, like a floral blackberry on top of that. Um, and it, it's, you know, it's honest to that profile. I can't really fault that. Um, is this, you know, something that I would carry on vaping? Yeah, I could vape this through a day for sure. Um, it is a little bit strange with the floral in there. Like I said, it's not everybody's cup of tea. So for me, I'm going to rate this a tip of the banger uh, because, you know, there's this, there's definitely some stuff in here that I didn't know about that I kind of like and um, we'll definitely try out, um, you know, in my own mixes in the future. So Donovan, thank you so much for that that uh, combination, that pairing between uh, FA Virginia and FA Seven Leaves. I really like that. So boom. Top of the banger. Let's move to the next mix. Hi everyone. For this week's episode of Bangers, uh, obviously it's the RY4 episode, so I've got uh, two RY4 recipes. The first one is by Chapel on ELR, and it's called Peach Baco. Now this is mixed at Max VG the uh, the same way that the uh, mixer actually had their recipe. So the recipe is as follows, it's FA Glory at 0.5%, White Peach by FA at 2%, FA RY4 at 2.5%. So uh, the on vaping this, the peach actually mixes with the caramel, so you get a nice, nice peach top note. Then followed by that caramel, which uh, sweetens up that the uh, the natural sweetness of the FA white peach, and um, obviously adds that caramel flavour to it uh, from the RY4. Then uh, this is closely followed by those very mild, uh, almost Virginia-like tobacco notes of the um, of the FA RY4. This blends in with the peach. It doesn't actually dirty the peach up at all. It, it blends in slightly. Imagine uh, going to a hookah bar and actually um, using a the peach tobacco from there. It's, it's very very similar. This uh, this is then followed by the uh, nuts. The nut taste from Glory. Uh, I believe they're very slight tobacco that I get from Glory. Uh, actually enhances the tobacco slightly from the from the FARY4 but to me glory ends up being more of a more of a nut mix you get a lot of nutty taste off it now at 0.5 percent this is um i believe this is actually used in this recipe to enhance the uh, the nuts the nutty background that you get from the RY4 and it does this very very well um, overall leaving you with a pleasant fruity um, des caramelly dessert tobacco now for a three flavor mix this actually comes across really complex even on even on a shaken vape but if you leave it for a couple of weeks to mature the uh, mix actually gets a lot more complex with the RY4 fully developing and the Glory fully developing with the uh, with the peach actually picking up a little bit of flavour uh, to give you a very satisfying, um, interesting, fruity RY4 mix. Uh, as I said, um, on the... On the, the, there isn't actually any notes in there off chapel and there's no suggested steep in time so you could do what I did and actually use it as a shaken vape or 
as I suggest, leaving it for a couple of weeks for everything to develop and this will actually turn into a very, very nice tobacco for you. Now for my, um, i would actually, I'll give this um, a tip of the banger. Uh, this is a very, it is a very nice recipe and it's definitely worth mixing up especially as soon as it's only three flavors and it's only five percent flavor in total um, even at max PG I, I actually get that, that for that five percent I do actually get quite a lot of flavor out of it so if you're interested in any fruit fruit dessert tobacco mixes I suggest you you mix this up for my next recipe it's uh, apple baco by sad panda vapes on ELR. Now, the recipe is as follows Flavor West Butterscotch Ripple at 6%, EM, uh, also known as uh, Cotton Candy 10% on ELR at 1%, FA Fuji Apple at 1.5%, TFA RY4 Double at 3.5%, Capella Vanilla Custard at 3% and as the mixer actually used on uh, on their initial recipe I mixed this at 70 pg 30 pg now I'm starting to bake this uh, off a shake I'm actually getting a juicy red apple top notes this is then followed by uh, the caramel and well, a slight like a slightly burned caramel from the RY4 double followed by the um, followed by those tobacco notes from the RY4 this has a nice pleasant and creamy butterscotch background thickened up by the uh, by the vanilla custard from from cap and also adds a little bit of depth as well to that cream so it's not just uh, a one-dimensional cream this actually gives a uh, quite a nice sweet and thick mouthfeel the caramel of the RY4 double actually blends quite nicely with the butterscotch giving you a, a sweet slightly burnt caramel butterscotch butterscotch taste um, I've actually th this is firmly and unmistakably a dessert tobacco to me this is almost like a caramel apple cream a thick cream with a serving of sweet butterscotch drizzled over the top of it and then you take a big big old spoonful of that and it uh, you get all those flavors just popping into your mouth this is a very very Moorish vape and I have to give this uh, the, the full banger this is a very 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 nice recipe it's the first time I've actually mixed this up um, leave a sip for a couple of weeks and the uh, the vanilla custard actually comes through with a butterscotch ripple picking up in taste but then the uh, the EM that's in this recipe actually smooths everything over nicely so you, you're not getting a harsh vape you're getting a very well blended smooth vape with uh, with all of these all of these flavors playing in there is a very nice recipe I suggest if you uh, if you really like that profile caramel caramel apple caramel apple cream caramel apple custard I suggest you uh, you go and mix this up you might discover a new ADV for yourself. Thank you. Okay, so the second recipe I want to talk about is Control Z by Zunder, also a local mixer. Um, when I said anybody have some RY4s and he came out with this, I had no clue that he had an RY4 out and I know that he does beautiful custards. I mean, I've tried a couple of his, uh, you know, stuff before. Um, he works for Zype uh, e-liquid, so you know he's a commercial e-liquid mixer. So you know he definitely, you know, knows what he's doing. Uh, this is a recipe he's put out for us, and uh, you know I want to talk about it. So let's just run through it. This Control Z 
2.5 Custard Premium, 4.5 uh, Holy Holy Grail RY4, uh, 2% um, Holy Vanilla, and 2.5% Melty Caramel. Okay, his description here. This is Control Z um, recipe. I enjoy developing complex and rough tobacco profiles, but every now and then I I need to reset as vaping. Put hair on the palms, tobacco. Uh, put hair on the palms, tobacco can be quite taxing. This is an old favorite of mine that I keep coming back to, especially when I am uh, on a losing streak with my tobacco recipe development. So that's actually pretty damn often. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I feel your pain. Uh, anyway, he goes on to say, Control Z is a simple um, OY4 style dessert profile with light tobacco tones, a rich, smooth caramel top note, uh, and a custard base. So, moreishly like a dense cream, you almost have to chew before you inhale. Okay? Uh, so, the OY4 layer is made up of um, Holy Grail and um, Malty Caramel by MB. It's, this is rich. This is a rich layer. Um, and anybody that's really looking for a rich caramel layer, you know, this is definitely one that you need to, to look at because I think he's done a fantastic job creating like a, a thick sort of tobacco, you know, feeling. Uh, I, I feel that the custards also play a little role in thickening up that caramel tone. And yes, that's what it does. Um, the creaminess also coming from, uh, you know, a little bit from that malty caramel from MB. Um, the silky smooth bourbon vanilla tones of uh, holy vanilla help smooth out the texture even further and helps round out the caramel layer, which otherwise comes across as lightly, slightly linear. All right. So uh, yeah, holy uh, holy vanilla definitely adds depth to that caramel the vanilla on here is just so so deep you know it feels like it, you know if you really think about it you can kind of like dive into another dimension of this uh, vanilla because it's just so deep and just so rich um, when I say rich I mean rich um, you, you know from a vanilla perspective flavor wise right not overbearing rich rich and great flavor okay uh, the dessert base I used FA Custard Premium, not just because it's a wonderful smooth custard with loads of mouthfeel and weight, but also because it has the vanilla tone um, is not that intrusive, which is very important in this specific profile because I really want Holy Vanilla to take the spotlight. Boom, you know. So yeah, I agree. Vanilla is not that prominent in uh, you know custard premium, and holy vanilla is, is way deeper and more exciting vanilla to use here. And I think he's done a uh, a brilliant job here, you know, creating a uh, dessert uh, tobacco. Uh, this is a little bit more on the dessert side. Uh, that's why he puts uh, like a caramel picture, you know, in the. Uh, you know in the recipe uh, picture you'll see if you click on it I'll put that link out for you guys and yeah um, he's he's done a brilliant execution here so if you like rich dark um, slightly creamy uh, you know with custard sort of notes something just deep and dark and beautiful this is definitely gonna be in your wheelhouse I had fun with this one, um, you know, there's definitely flavors like uh, MB Multi Caramel that I haven't used before that uh, I feel I will be using now more going forward. And of course, uh, you know, the Holy Grail and Multi Caramel Caramel layer um, buffed out a little bit by that custard premium and smoothed out by the Holy Vanilla. Yeah, dude, there's definitely thought put in here. And because of that, I would like to give this a tip of the banger. Well done. Um, this is this is this is definitely a person that knows how to work with their vanilla. You know what I mean? There's always something that I've always wanted to do well, but you know, I'm just not there, and I need to work a lot more with vanillas to understand that. But you know, Zander knows how to work with his vanillas, and it clearly shows in this recipe. So well done. For the first of my TFA RY4 double mixes, I chose uh, The Last Baron by uh, Loco Mojo. 
Uh, let me just give you the recipe quickly. The main note is 4% TFA RY4 double. That is backed up with 1% Flavor West Butterscotch Natural, 3% Flavor West Butterscotch Ripple, 1% Flavor West Butter Pecan, 1% FA Vanilla Bourbon, half percent TFA Brown Sugar, and 1.5% Flavoro Milk and Honey. Um, as you can guess from the uh, different flavors in, in the recipe, this really just takes that RY4 double uh, profile of tobacco with caramel and vanilla and just kind of buffs up the non-tobacco elements of the mix. You're getting that um, caramelish uh, brown sugar sort of sweetening from the butterscotches, the brown sugar, the flavoral milk and honey and then a little bit extra vanilla from the uh, F.A. Bourbon and then also uh, a little bit of uh, butter pecan just to add a nutty note. Um, so it's basically the characteristics of the base flavor RY4 double but just fleshed out and made more to make a fully flavored juice that carries that same profile. Obviously the tobacco note is going to recede a little bit because that's the only note in ROI4 double that isn't being boosted by the additional flavors in the recipe. Um, so I mixed this up, uh, let it steep for about a week. I think it could go a little bit longer, but it is okay after, after a week. Uh, that TFA brown sugar needs at least a week to settle, and uh, it has done. Uh, basically this succeeds at, at what it's doing. It, it takes that, uh, that classic RY4 double profile, um, enriches it, makes everything a bit fuller, a bit more prominent, um, everything registers as a bit more creamy, a bit more caramelly, a bit sweeter. Uh, so it really does take that RY4 double um, profile and turn it into a juice. Um, the butter pecan does add a welcome bit of, of nuttiness in there. We're getting the, um, the caramel being boosted by the butterscotch, the two butterscotch flavors and the TFA brown sugar. So overall the mix does work very well. Um, it's maybe not different enough um, to really be an absolute winner for me. It's, it's basically RY4 double enhanced uh, and it works very well with that. Um, it just doesn't move that profile in a, in a different direction or do anything wildly uh, innovative to it. But for what it is, um, a recipe that fills out RY4 double and turns that profile into a really good creamy, sweet, um, dark uh, brown sugar type, type sweetening, it, uh, it succeeds really well. So thank you for that local mojo. For my second TFA RY4 double recipe, I went uh, completely left field and I tried Rainbow Friendship Puke Bittersweet Hot Cocoa by Rage is a lot of work. Now, Rage does try some really funky, new, different, esoteric uh, type mixes and this one certainly fits the bill. Let's have a look at the recipe and you'll see just how crazy this is. The main note 3% TFA RY4 double paired with 1.6% FA Cocoa. Now that's, that's a flavor I've never been able to get to work for me, so I was immediately intrigued. Then to add to that, uh, he has 0.75% FA Cookie, uh, a cream base of 1.2% TFA Bavarian Cream with 1.3% FA Catalan Cream, and then tops it off with 2.2% TFA Honeysuckle. Now to put together a dessert tobacco flavor with honeysuckle, with cocoa, with Catalan cream. Just sounded completely bizarre uh, to me, but I like my cocoa, so I thought I'll give it a try and see what it's like. And uh, much to my relief, this isn't actually a prank recipe. This actually does work. What I get from it is a very pleasant, uh, cocoa note on the inhale, just like a, a cup of hot cocoa. On the exhale, that sort of sweet, um, that sweet tobacco note of the RY4 double takes over, which does ruin the illusion a little bit of a, a 
cup of hot cocoa, which is what he was looking for. Um, but it's nevertheless still a very interesting and very pleasant vape. It's the only time I've used FA cocoa in a recipe where I was quite happy with the results. It's not uh, it's not bang on for, for a cup of cocoa, probably on the inhale, but then the exhale um, sort of falls apart in, in that uh, respect. But it certainly is um, a decent cocoa mix. I just didn't see honeysuckle working with cocoa at all. I didn't see dessert tobacco working with cocoa. Uh, Rage's feeling was that the RY4 double would round out that cocoa, that the honeysuckle would add sweetness and that the Bavarian cream and Catalan cream would um, would add like a heavy whipping cream into, into the cocoa. Again, I was suspicious about FA Catalan cream. That's quite a, a spicy sort of cream. I, again, I didn't see that working at all with things like you know, honeysuckle and um, and our wife will double, but the whole thing hangs together rather well. It's a really different vape, um, not at all unpleasant. I don't, I don't get any off notes from it. As I say, it's it's probably not a pucker cup of hot cocoa for me, but it's it's close to it and it's it's pleasant to vape. Um, so for the sheer innovation of it for trying all those different flavors together and getting something that's that's really pleasant and vapable out of it uh, i'm going to give rage a tip of the banger for this thank you rage hey guys so let's the final let's look at the final recipe that i had to mix up uh, or that i wanted to actually mix up um so you know after you know finding two recipes from south africa I went looking for something that I thought mm, this is definitely something that looks interesting for me. It's also a recipe that doesn't have a review, okay? And it is silky smooth, smoky. Let me <laughs> let me try that again. Silky smooth RY4 groove by Bones McNasty. Okay, this recipe doesn't have any review on it. It's 1% uh, DFS Holy Vanilla, 8% TFA RY4 double, so he went in hard with that. Um, Two percent um, sweet cream cap, two percent TFA vanilla swirl, and zero point five percent cap super sweet. So I didn't go that sweet. Uh, I went in with about zero point two five, thinking that you know the RY4 double at eight percent is already going to be pretty sweet. Um, Otherwise, you know, it would have just been a little bit too much in this uh, 22 millimeter flavor atty of mine. And what he says about this recipe, a simple smooth dessert RY4. Holy vanilla is a beast. I love vanilla and holy vanilla is a rich, unique offering in the vanilla realm. The sweet cream and vanilla swirl were added to smooth out and produce the flow while the RY4 double provides that rich caramel light RY4 groove. All seem to blend very well together and top of a great meal. You can enjoy this after five to seven days, but I like it after two weeks. Okay, so um, what I liked about this recipe is uh, the, the cream that I used in here, Cap Sweet Cream. I really like that cream just because it's just so thick, you know, and it's the perfect bed for laying something like a butterscotch, caramel, or RY4, you know, on top of. And, um, and in this recipe, it really shows that for me. So what am I getting from this recipe? Wow, blast of R RY4, I mean 8% uh, TFA RY4 double. Um, that potentially can come down a little bit. Uh, I think this recipe was created some time back. Yeah, it was created, um, it was created last year. So not so, it was last year December, okay? I mean, it really depends what you're vaping this on, um, on a 22 flavor atty, it's, you know, the flavor is, is pretty intense um, for me, but um, that doesn't say I didn't enjoy this, you know what I mean? Uh, when, it, when I say intense, I just mean, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to all day vape this recipe, I'll have to come back to it, but just wait, we're going to talk about this recipe, okay? Um, the... 
the honey vanilla is a beautiful vanilla and um, you know I think it just blends so well with uh, TFA RY4 double I think that's a match made in heaven for me um, you know, uh, it's, it's just a different spin and a different sort of deepness to a RY4 with TFA uh, than DIY Flavor Shack. So I really appreciated, you know, that that mix up between um, because, I mean, you could have easily gone for um, Holy Holy RY4. But uh, this is just a little bit uh, a different spin on it, right? With a TFA RY4 double. I enjoy it. I enjoy that combination. Beautiful choice there with Cap Sweet Cream. I'm 100% with you on that choice. And then TFA Vanilla Swirl. So, Vanilla Swirl I think is just there to, you know, he says smooth out the, the mix and provide the flow of the vape. And I think it does that. Um, it fills out some, you know, TFA Vanilla Swirl has this magical way of, you know, kind of like bonding things together and fill by filling out some of the blank spots in a mix and I think that's the the part that Vanilla Swirl plays in here. All in all this was a delicious recipe for me. Um, yeah I can't chain vape this one um, but you know what I think if I had to put this in a mouth to lung um, set up something like this you know a berserker uh, you know just running sort of like high milligram nick it will you know uh, you know, high milligram uh, free base nick, you know, it will hide that nicotine taste completely, and uh, you'll just have this beautiful, warm RY4, creamy RY4. So, for me, yeah, this is delicious. Tip of the banger. Um, so, three tips today. I know that sounds crazy, but you know, this is really what I think about these recipes. I think they. You know, they're all fantastic, the ones that I have chosen. It also might just be that I like RY4s. <laughs> and I'm, I'm slightly biased. But anyway, um, yeah, it was a cool round. I really enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that pretty much wraps up the show. So just a couple of things uh, before we end off the show. Guys, remember that there is a... Um, there is currently a mix-off happening between uh, between us and DIY Down Under. So that show is later on. And uh, if you head on down to DIY Down Under, you'll find there's already a link created for the live show. So please go and set your reminder there. All right. A cu couple of other channels that I like and we do collaborate with. Uh, of course, Daytime Frank, Fresh 3 DIY Down Under and Develop and also mix in vixens um, please go and check out those channels and make sure that you subscribe for everybody that's been in chat supporting us week after week thank you very much and i hope you guys enjoying the the new spin on mixer review which is now bangers um, i kind of like it doing it this way um, i had some good responses yesterday from people uh, or excuse me throughout the week from people and uh, yeah, uh, they seem to be liking it. So, you know, we'll keep it up and please let us know if there's anything that works or anything that doesn't work. Okay, guys. So, we'll see you next week and I will be putting a post out on Mixologist also uh, on what is up next week. What uh, flavor are we going to, or what profile are we going to be looking at from a mixer review or from a banger's perspective. Um, and so yeah please go and uh, add yourself to uh, mixologist south africa also so that you can put your recipe in there that matches with the profile we're going to be chasing or talking about that week guys thank you very much for joining and i will see you next week cheers bye bye